Hello and welcome back to another episode of Cypher. <laughs> We're back at the challenge levels here. This is challenge level 7. We started it last time. And I just kept going with what we were doing. And I have a word now. And it's still a little bit confusing, honestly. Because <laughs> we have, we established that X is 4, Y is 19. And Z is 3. Which is not, I mean, first and foremost, it's not exactly 4. It's not exactly 3. Which is a little sloppy, if you ask me. But okay, okay. You know, whatever. But then I still don't know what shift 4 means. <laughs> Either way, so we we did uh, come up with, if you just do the module, like the remainder, you divide 50 by 19, which is, you know, the Y in the mod Y thing, and then the remainder, and then add 3, um, because of Z, and then add Z at the end, and then convert that into a letter in the alphabet, then what we get out of this is Oduct Cypher PR, and then if you just switch those last two letters to the front, you get Product Cypher. Oh, I guess it's shift four, four digits. That's really stupid, though. But I guess if you shift the seven, two, and the three, two to the right, and they come to the start, and it makes product cipher. But that's really dumb. I don't like that. I do not like that, that but okay. I think that's going to be the explanation. I, yeah. I mean, that's too clearly a word for it not to be the correct solution here, so... <laughs> or two words, I guess. I don't know if a product cipher is actually a thing. Anyway. We did this one. Alright, let's look at Braille. Um, is that how you say it, even? <laughs> I hope it is. No one has corrected me so far, I think, so... We're just, we're just gonna assume... We're just gonna assume... Okay, Braille. Is that okay? So first, is it internationally the same? Because I know like sign language is not. <laughs> and I probably need, like if there's a if there are differences, I need I need a. I, I don't think it's like that's just gonna be the same everywhere, right? It would be insane. Because it's not like a language; it's just the letters, right? Whereas, you know, sign language, like every sign is like a, a word. I mean, you can also spell letters and stuff, but, you know. So languages are different depending on where you, where you learn. Or, you know, which sign language you learn, I guess. Anyway. And I don't know how much they're different. I have, I have no... I don't know. I just know that they're different. This is a horrible picture because it's cut off. <laughs> Alright, so this one is better, maybe. It's just... Let me look at this. God. All right, let's give me the wiki. Does the wiki have just the alphabet there? Okay, this is okay. This it says it's for a German language. So give me the English article, <laughs> please. Oh man, and then give me transcription. No. Give me uses Unicode observation. Does it Unicode? I guess it must be um, to translate it. That's all for to look at. Can you just give me a picture of the? Like, give me a picture of just the alphabet. Why? <laughs> Why does this have to be annoying? There we go. Okay, so maybe it's the same anyway. Whatever, let's just look. All right, let's see. So the first, the first one up there is kind of hard to see. It's actually really hard to see, which is sort of, you know, it's braille, it's for blind people, and it's really hard to see <laughs> which dots are off the wall and which ones aren't. 
Uh, Alright. Like, I can't get close enough. I can't jump or anything. And this is very choppy, the movement here, because like, we move too much in one step. Possible to see. Okay. Okay, so the first one looks like there is like a row of three that is definitely off the wall, right? Because that's moving here. So there's a row of three, and then. Oh, it's too fast like that. And then there's one in the middle. But I don't know, like the spacing is impossible to see from here too. Like how, how are we supposed to see this? I, I guess you could like, but like there's no fluid slow movement, right? No, I can just run, which is even faster. Like there's no walk, right? This is really bad. Um, I, I need to find a way to do this better than this. Because this is just going to be impossible. Because we can't see where the letters end and stuff. Like from here it's clear. It's always those 2 by 3s And that's what, you know, the format is too. But like when you're up close, it's really hard to see what's what. But I guess the first one is like 3 solid on the left. And then 1 in the middle on the right. Which is an R, I guess. Yeah, okay. But I don't know if the ones on the wall mean anything. Probably not, right? That just did distract me, I guess. If that's the case, I don't know. Then the second one is just really hard to see already, I guess. We need to... But it's like, it's very... It's moving. Everything is moving. <sighs> yeah. Okay, I don't know. It looks like it's the top left one, and then the middle right to me, which would be an E. Or a 5, apparently. Okay. And then the third one starts... Oh, this is impossible. Oh, okay, the third one starts... I can't even see it anymore. That's how bad this is. I guess we just look at the ones on the wall, actually. So the top right one and the two bottom ones on the left. Yeah, okay. I can see it, I think. So top right. So an S, I may, maybe? Maybe I see an S here? <laughs> I don't know. And then the next one has middle left, top right. Middle left, top right is an I. And then the next one has... Top right, and then the two in the middle, or the two bottom and middle left, I think. Which is an S again. So we're spelling resist here, I believe, or something along those lines. We have R E S I S. Well, I completely lost where I was. <laughs> okay, there. Um. All right, everything except top left and top right is it is a T resist. <laughs> um, oh, why is it so hard to see? And the next one is top left, bottom left, middle right, which is an O oh, resistor. I guess it's the only thing we can spell here like that, right? Yeah, resistor. And we keep going, and we have second row. We have... Alright, so it's a, it's a, this is an R again? Yeah. And the next one is top left, middle right. Which is an E again. That's weird, but it's true. Yeah, the next one is, that looks really weird from here. I can't tell which ones are on the wall and which ones aren't. 
I guess those those three far away ones are off the wall. So top left, top right, middle right. Um, which is a D. And then the top, yeah, the top four ones is a G. That seems wrong, but okay. Red G. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if that's right still. We'll find out. Uh, where were we? We need to move slightly to get a bit of look at the next one. Okay, next one is the three on the left and the middle one is an R again. The next one is top left, middle right, which we've done a bunch of times, an E. Red, green? Is that what we're spelling here? Maybe. Yeah, because the next one is an E again. And the next one again, is that an N? It is. And then the next one. Oh, it gi it's giving me the, we need to look up like a resistor and then we get the color code thing, red, green. And then the other cars, I'm guessing, and we have to look up how much resistance that is or something, maybe? That's my guess for now. I don't know where we are now, though. We just had an N, which, okay. That looks like that. It's so hard to keep track of, like, where the things start, though. Is this the N? Yeah, this is the N. I see it again. Next up we have, I don't know what that is, it looks weird. Is that an E again? No, an E, a T, an, an R. <laughs> an R, and then an E, and then a D. Yeah, red, green, red, okay. Red, green, red, okay, sure. And then here, it's getting harder to see actually. <laughs> Okay, we have the top four and bottom left, which is a Q? Okay, maybe not. Red, green, red, Q. <laughs> the top two are of the war. That's a C, what? What is going on here? Then the top, QCA? <laughs> what are we spelling here now? An N? That's an... Wait, what? That looks wrong. There's a dot to many there. Oh, yeah, it's from the next one, I guess. Yeah, it's just a three on the left, which is an L. It's not right. Whatever we're doing here is not right. Um, it's a J? No, that's wrong. Maybe it's the other way around now? Maybe we need the neg like the ones on the wall are the ones we do now? Is that actually possible even? Is there one like that's two at the bottom and then the top left? There is. That would be a U. What's the opposite of L? Uh, I don't see anything. The opposite of L. There is no opposite of L. Okay, that's a problem, and it's not that. Because there's nothing that's just a line on the right, because you couldn't really, it would be hard to tell if the line's on the left or on the right. So to have that, you can't have both of those be different letters, I guess, because it would be impossible to differentiate that's just by feeling it on its own, I guess. But they do have some of the others, or do they not? No. Are all the ones that are just in one column? They only exist once. Smart people. Or smart, you know, Braille, I guess. Or smart. But then that leaves us with a mess of letters here for the last line, which is not great. Well, let's just keep going. Let's transcribe this mess and see where it takes us. What was the last one we did? J. What was the J? What does the J look like? 
Jay's this one. Or is that actually... No, it is a Che, right? No, it's not a Che. What? Wait, 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 wait. Is that a Che? No, it's not a Che. This thing I'm looking at right here is not a Che. Did I write that down as Che? Because that's not a Che. That's a... No, no, no. That's a... Oh, it is a Che. Okay, I'm looking at the thing wrong now. <laughs> it's getting worse. <laughs> I'm getting worse at this. That's a J. Okay, yeah, no, it is a J. I'm good, I'm good. We're good. Next one. That's, we've done that before. It's an N. I'm touching the cable again. That's too bad. It doesn't have enough space on this desk. Um, N, and then this one. It's so hard to see. <laughs> It's an S, maybe? I, I, can't, I don't even see where we are now anymore. This is definitely one of those where it would be really handy to have someone that you just dictate the stuff to and they write it down. Actually, the first one isn't the Q. Or is it? No. That one's off the board, too. Oh, no, that is a Q. Okay, what was it? Yeah, I'm looking at the. It's, it's just too much. It's just too much. Anyway. QCA, yeah, okay. I see those letters at least now, sort of. That's two, that's two, that's two, that's two, that's two, that's two. This is two right here, which was the N. And then we wrote down an S, where did we get out from? Here, okay, I see the S now. But now we moved and it's gone. But I had to move to look at the next one. <laughs> no, there's the S, I see it again, okay. And then we have top and mid and bottom left, which is a K. And we have R, R on the left and bottom right. Shape of an L makes a V. Um, Okay, top two, bottom two is an X. That makes no sense. <laughs> uh, middle left, top right is an I. Top left, bottom left is a K again. Only two more, I think. Three more, I can't count. Three more. Uh, bottom left, middle left, top right. We've done that. What is that? Why have we not done that? Can't find it. It's an S. We have done it. Uh, top left. Uh, it's a K again. Why so many Ks? K S K. Running out of space in this line, which is also kind of annoying. And then the last one is. Um, everything but middle left, top right, which is a Z. So we, we have resistor, red, green, red, and then Q, C, A, N, L, J, N, S, K, B, X, I, K, S, K, Z. And I don't really know what we do with that. Because the first part, obviously, is just words. Resistor and red, green, red makes sense. But then the rest of it does not. Resistor. Red, green, red. What is red, green, red? Resistor calculator, yes, give me that. First ring, I guess red. Second ring, green. Red ring, red. But you don't have the fourth card, which is weird. But it's just tolerance, whatever. So this is 2.5k ohm. What do we do with that now? Uh, red, green, red, resistor. 
This is a red, green, red. Yeah, red, green, red. But now we have to decode that bottom thing. So somehow that is the key, right? The 2.5k ohm. But how do we make that a key? Just using ohm would be wrong, because then we wouldn't need red, green, red. We need the 2.5k somehow. But how do we make that a key for this mess? Q, C, A, N, L. What could it be? It can't really be a visionary because we don't have a word to use. Otherwise, you would probably try that first. But that can't be it because... We, yeah, it can't be, right? <laughs> is that enough of, a, of an explanation? Or enough of a reason to root it out? I think it is, right? It just can't be because we don't have a word. 2.5k ohm is not a word we can use. So... What are, what are our alternatives? I don't know what to do, but it's two, yeah, 2.5k, 2,500. I don't know what to do with that. It depends on what kind of code it is, 2,500. 2, we never had any numbers this thing though, as a thing though, right? Did we? Am I misremembering that? How long is this episode? Not long enough to end it. <laughs> uh, I mean, I didn't really expect that, I guess, but you know. But we can't use this, because 2,500 ohm. Like, if you spell it out, there's way too many letters and uh, numbers don't work. Two thousand five hundred. Enigma doesn't really apply. But yeah, the binary stuff obviously doesn't either. Hmm, as you're shifting again. Two five zero zero. Shifted by two becomes QPR, right? C shifted by five is what H? I don't like that. <laughs> Maybe shifted the other way? No, it's not R, QRS. What am I doing? Shifted by two S. That makes more sense of the H then. Because it's A, B, C, and H is A. Yeah. And then A, N shifted 0, 0. Shan, that's a word. Or start of a word, maybe. Not really. <laughs> okay, L shifted by 2. M, N is another N. J shifted by 5, I need to look up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, O. Shannon's? Shannon's what? Um, K shifted by 2 is M. V shifted by 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is A. X, I, and then K shifted by... What are shifting by? 2? M again, S shifted by 5 is one, two, three, four, five, X. No, wait, where am I? Which numbers? <laughs> Which numbers am I on? Two, five, zero, zero, two, five, zero, zero, two, five, zero, zero, two. That's something wrong. Do I have a wrong letter there? Maybe there was no S there, because that would be an X. Maxim, max, maxim, max, doesn't make sense. The end doesn't make sense. <laughs> 
What did I do wrong there at the end? Those last four letters are just off? Or three letters? Three letters. S. Yeah. Bring back the braille. It's gone. Are we doing it on the other monitor now? But that, I can't look at that. That's why I had the phone in the first place. That's what we're looking at here, like the bottom two on the left and the top right, right? It's an S. Two on the left. Which I think that's okay, and then the bottom two. Those two is a set, right? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here, man. This is it made sense, and now it doesn't. Shannon's. Maximum capacity theorem is what that would be, but that's... Oh, I left the I out there? Maybe it's... Yeah, I think I skipped a letter or something in my list. That maybe it's the... No. X, I. K shifted by two. Why does this not make any sense at the end? <laughs> Why does this just break? Did I, did I skip a letter? I must have skipped a letter or something. There's no, there's no other possible explanation, right? Because it makes sense for the first bunch, but then it stops. M A X I, yeah, and then it's K S two five. K shifted by 2 is an M, S shifted by 5 is an X, that just makes no sense. <laughs> what went wrong here? Something went wrong and I can't really find the error because it looks like I transcribed the, the, the rail letters correctly, but now I can't do things. <laughs> Anyway, that's okay, whatever, let's, I can't find a mistake, so it's Shannon's Maxim, and then X. Where am I now? 2500, 2500, 250025, it's okay, and said. <laughs> All right, so let's look, look up Shannon's Maxim. We can do that here, though. Shannon's Maxim. It's a different thing. Gakov's Principer. Of cryptography. <laughs> okay, it was stated by a Netherlands born cryptographer. I don't know. I mean, that looks like a French first name, though. Do you speak French, my friend? Well, yeah, it's French. Oh, she's Kerkhoff, which is funny in a way. But his full name is Jean Guillaume Auguste Victor Francois Hubert Kerkhoff. So, <laughs> I don't know. Definitely, definitely a French, not a Dutch first name there. Um, 
the, the University of Liege. All right. Okay, let's go back to the Shannon's maximum part of this thing, though. Um, Gecko's principle was reformulated or possibly independently formulated by American mathematician Claude Shannon as the enemy knows the system, i.e. one ought to design systems under the assumption that the enemy will immediately gain full familiarity with them. In that form it is called Shannon's maxim. This concept is widely embraced by cryptographers in contrast to security through obscurity, which is not. Okay. But then what, what's my Shannon's maxim XK said? What's 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 how do we what what's the Why do we have the three letters at the end? <laughs> The enemy knows the system. Shannon's Maxim XK said. Why do we have those three letters at the end? They could just not be there. It would be... She says a multiple of four? For the 2500 thing? Anyway. And yeah, Kerkhoff's principle is a crypto system should be secure even if everything about the system except the key is public knowledge. I don't know what you want from me here. <laughs> is XK said the key? No. <laughs> Because there's nothing to encode left, or decode. Uh, but like, it can't be one or two. <laughs> Design systems under the assumption That the enemy. That's it. Okay. There's no. There's no space. <laughs> what, what do you want? That's Shannon's maxim. as the enemy knows the system. I did read that before already. Where did I read that before? I guess it was part of the... I don't know. The enemy knows the system. Okay, so it's a short version, but the long version is much better. I prefer one ought to design systems under the assumption that the enemy will immediately gain full familiarity with them. That's a much nicer... You know, maximum. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why you give me the three extra letters, though. It's really rude. We got this, we got this. I mean, I still see those letters up there. Let's see what we see up there. The, on the, on the, the left-hand side. How many letters can we see in there? We can see a T, potentially. We can see a C. We can see... Well, an I, actually. Uh, the next one is definitely an N, because it has that diagonal line, top, left, bottom, right. So the first one could be C, could be T, could be I. So the second one is definitely an N. And then something that goes, well, everywhere. So it's a B? It could be an H. No, but then there's no the bottom line that makes no sense then. 
the top and the bottom would be open if there were an H and an N. So if you take away the N from that, which lines remain? Just the three horizontal ones. So an E, three horizontal lines, an E, yes. That makes a lot of sense. Next one is an R for sure, right? What else? Could be an H. Could be an A. Yeah, that's about it, right? And the last one is a B. And maybe, I don't know, an E or an H or... But definitely a B. It means covering all the lines. It could be a P too. I could, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if there's a set amount of letters per... Cinereb. Cine. No, no, no. <laughs> These may be also possible. I mean, that's kind of tough. Um. There's also an L possible in the lot of yeah, the first, the second, and the fourth one. Like, I don't know what the rules are, right? I don't know how many letters there are in each of them, but there are letters in each of them. So the first one could also have an L in it, for sure, as could the second one and the fourth one. Not the third one though, because there's, yeah, obviously the bottom uh, horizontal line is missing. That just gives me a bunch of stuff. I'm not sure if I'm looking for a four-letter word with all those possible letters, but it doesn't really make sense. Maybe I'm using, I'm using all the letters that I see for one word, starting left to right, maybe? So whatever. It could be a T and an L at the start, but that would make a very awkward start to a word. Cool. <laughs> Um, I guess you could you're right. You could you you could do you could do an eye that goes like has the lines across, not just you know not just one vertical line, but the two horizontal lines too. Then that could be L I line L E I N E because we had N and E for the second one, right? Linear. If you do A first, linear. Linearb. <laughs> mm. I don't know. Ignore it. I want to do this one. Okay, if you do T T A A A G, 
H E C G D G. Yeah, those those are all the combos, right? Maybe. No, that's actually some. What is that? Translate bioinformatics.org. Sample sequence. Sample the raw detector area below. All right. T T A A A G. I have no idea what's going to happen here. H E C G. T G A C E T G A A G A G A T. What do you translate that to? The sequence manipulations to translate T T A A A G A G C G, but then it stops. Starts for 24 residual sequence starting TTAA as LKSVT star RD. LKSVT. Star RD. Now, I don't know. <laughs> DNA base. Those are base pairs, right? Isn't it? I don't know. Adenine, tumine. I don't remember the other ones. And I don't know the English names or pronunciations if it's the same names. <laughs> translate that into anything like how does it make sense word space word space message I mean it's not that codes it's not from cypher it's just someone doing code stuff with that that's interesting Yeah, I think I have to read more about this to find out what we're exactly supposed to do. I don't know, I don't know. We could look up where this is, I guess. 51, 2855.1 North, 0, 16, 36, 7 West. Let's look up l line line arb <laughs> maybe it's not linear maybe it's line and then something at the end a line rab line rel line hab no it needs to be an r at least right but i could be an h in there too line harb syllabic script that was used for writing Mycenaean, Mycenaean Greek the linear B give me the symbols are those those symbols? because if they are they are what? <laughs> alright so we can do this one then uh, line arb 
<laughs> Linear B was the solution here, crazy. Yeah, and I mean, the, the thing was like we had E and, and N. But I really didn't think that first one would be an I at first, because it tricked me. I thought it was going to be a T or something. Because I would never write an I like this. I would always just draw a line, like a straight line now, not, you know, the top and bottom part. Anyway, um, let's find that first symbol. It's like a little box with three legs. Three-legged box. It does not exist. <laughs> see any of those symbols here. What are you doing, game? What are you doing to me here? Are there more? A character. Special values. There's still no box of three legs. Come on. And I look at the second one. Like a thing. Okay, I found this one. The, it's a T. The fourth one is a T. I guess. Actually, it's a toe. Yeah, okay. I don't know if it's just a T then or a toe. Like, I don't know if you're just gonna do like simple letters or. I don't know. I guess they had, you know, different, for different sounds, so the, for T, Ta, Te, T, To, Tu, they had all different symbols for those sounds, that's interesting, for sure. Some of those look wrong, though. <laughs> On those VAR here, I mean, not, not in the, I'm sure they did their own letters right. But I can't find them. They look very similar, like stylistically at least, but they're not this. Oh, this is the three-legged thing. It just looks very different. It's a W. Oh, yeah, then I would guess the second one is an H, just based on that alone. There are no H's. I don't have any H's. <laughs> This is tough. Okay, the first, the third one looks like a, a Y and a P crossed over. That should be easy to find in this list here. There's a lot of stuff in this list though. There's a Y, there's another Y. None of them look like that though. None of them look like that. So maybe we're not quite right here. Unicode. Okay, maybe this is where I want to be then? I don't know. Those don't exist, but I guess it didn't have all the letters. I'm confused. Ideograms. But they only have what? No, that doesn't make sense. Again, I think I need to read more about this, but we're on the right track again. But those symbols, like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the ones, the ones used in the game. They don't really exist here. Maybe we're not quite right. Maybe it's not linear B. Maybe it's linear or something else. But at last, that has to be a B, right? If I 
could just find some more of them. I would feel better too about being in the right place for sure. But they just all look slightly wrong. Or, you know, just different but like inspired. Like someone saw these and then drew their own, their own ones. That's what it feels like. Because I can't find any of them. <laughs> I can't really find any of them here, which is just vile to me. Because I don't know, I thought we were in the right space, but now I'm, I'm doubting that more and more. Like, there are a few that have that like, X shape that we have in the fifth spot here, but none of them have those. Overlapping here again too. Are we? Come on. Not really. Don't. <laughs> Don't be like that. I think that's what we're doing here. Alright, we'll, we'll worry about this next time again. Um what do we have left? The gold bug over there. Is that it for over here? Do we do all the other ones? Yeah, gold bug over here. Then we did these two. We're working on this one. We haven't started this one. I kind of looked at this one, but it's weird. And for this, I don't know. I mean, we look up those locations, and then I don't know what we do with the kilometer things from there. Maybe we go somewhere. 1.72 kilometers from that spot, but that, I don't know how we would really do that well on the map. I don't know. Like, we can't physically go there. Well, we could, but, you know, would make, <laughs> make this video harder to produce for sure um, and then I hope we just find something that helps with the code maybe we're just like in a, in a place and we go to the place and then oh this is where they found this and that and then or where this and that whatever you know that's my hope at least this one I don't know I thought we had it but again, it, again it's weird <laughs> it's very weird but yeah we'll work on this some more but next time, next time, at least one more episode, probably actually at least two, I'm guessing, because there's a bunch of stuff left. Yeah. And then that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.